morning students welcome in maths period today we are going to see some more divisibility rules if a number is divisible by another number then it is divisible by <coughs> each of the factors of that number for example 3 is divisible by 12 or you say 4 is divisible by 12 the factors of 4 are 2 1 and these both the numbers are divisible by 12 another rule if a number is divisible by two coprime numbers then it is divisible by their product also suppose we are taking the example 3 and 4 take 24 is divisible by 3 24 is divisible by 4 and their product is 12 24 is divisible by 3 into 4 is 12 also if two given numbers are divisible by a number then their sum is also divisible by that number for example 16 and 20 are divisible by 4 so their sum is 16 plus 20 we are getting 36 and 36 also divisible by 4 in the same manner if two given numbers are divisible by a number then their difference is also divisible by that number here if we are taking the same numbers 20 and 16 the difference 20 and 16 are divisible by 4 their difference 20 minus 16 is equal to 4 it is also divisible by 4 let us move towards exercise number 3.5 here we have to apply the different divisibility rules first question which of the following statements are true if a number is divisible by 3 it must be divisible by 9 it is a false statement since 9 is a multiple of 3 not a factor another one if a number is divisible by 9 it must be divisible by 3 since 3 is a factor of 9 so this statement is true third one a number is divisible by 18 if it is divisible by both 3 and 6 it is a false statement since 30 is divisible by 3 30 is divisible by 6 but 30 is not divisible by 18 so it is a false statement if a number is divisible by 9 and 10 both then it must be divisible by 90 it is true we can take any example suppose Nine and ten are co-prime numbers, so here by applying the divisibility rule, we can say that this statement is also true. If two numbers are co-primes, at least one of them must be prime. It is false. It is not necessary. One of them must be prime. Let us see the next question. If a number is divisible by nine and ten both. then it must be divisible by 90 it is not necessary again we can see with the different example it is not necessary another example if two numbers are coprime at least one of them must be prime it is also false all numbers which are let us see question number 2 here are two different factor trees for 60 write the missing number factor tree method we have already seen in standard 5 60 the factorization of 60 they have given 6 into 10 again 6 has been splitted 2 into what will come 3 2 3 are 6 and 10 will split as a 5 into 2 so here we got the prime factorization of 60 2 into 3 into 5 into 2 
in the same manner in 60 here it has been given 60 is equal to 30 into 2 will get then 6 30 is composite number 2 is a prime number 30 again splitted into 10 into 3 again 10 has been splitted 2 into 5 or 5 into 2 in this manner again here we have got the prime factorization of 60 using factor tree method are 2 into 3 into 2 into 5 then the next question question number 3 which factors are not included in a prime factorization of a composite number it's a one and the number itself as we know that the when we can say that the number is a prime factor we are saying that when the number is having two factors one and the number itself then the number is said to be the prime number so one and the number itself are not included in the prime factorization of a composite number now solution of question number four write the greatest four digit number and express it in terms of prime factors everybody knows greatest four digit number is 9999 here i have arranged vertically and we are trying to find the prime factors using vertical method so as you know that 9999 is divisible by 3 so if we are dividing by 3 we will get 3 3 3 3 again it is divisible by 3 we are getting 1 1 1 1 and this 1111 is divisible by 11 after dividing it if you are getting confusion you divide in this manner 1 1 1 1 divided by 11 11 ones are 11 0 bring this one down so uh, since 1 is smaller than 11 give 0 here and here minus 0 so 1 bring this one again down here we got 11 ones are 11 so our answer is 1 not 1 so 1111 divided by 11 is 1 not 1 now here the greatest four digit number everybody knows that 9999 and the prime factorization of the greatest four digit number is 3 into 3 into 11 that is the answer the next question is question number 5 write the smallest five digit number everybody knows which is the smallest five digit number 10000 and we have to find the prime factorization of the smallest five digit number it is divisible by 2 so after dividing 2 we are getting 5000 again 5000 is divisible by 2 after dividing we will get 2500 again 2500 is divisible by 2 we are getting 1250 1 to 5 0 divided by 2 we got 625 and in one's place 5 so it is divisible by 5 625 divided by 5 we got 125 125 divided by 5 we got 25 again 25 is divisible by 5 we got 5 5 is divisible by 5 we got 1 so the prime factors of 1 0 0 0 0 means the smallest 5 digit number is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 that is the solution then let us move towards the next question question number 6 find all the prime factors of 1729 and arrange them in ascending order now state the relations if any between the two consecutive prime factors here write solution 1729 children here we have to find whether the number is divisible by 2 1729 is not divisible by 2 see whether it is divisible by 3 apply the test of divisibility of 3 it is not divisible by 3 and so on like this way once i am taking 7 it is divisible by 7 once i am dividing it with 7 we got 247 and again 247 again it is getting little difficult you have to check whether it is divisible by 2 whether it is divisible by 3 4 5 6 7 no 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 then we got it is divisible by 13 and once we are dividing by 13 with 247 we got 19 19 itself a prime number so 19 divided by 19 is 1 so here we got the prime factors of 1729 is 7 into 13 into 19 now another question is there they have told us 
state the relations if any between the two consecutive prime factor here we have to observe that what relation is there between two consecutive 7 and 13 the same relation will be there between 13 and 19 you see here is the difference of 6 so we can see that the difference between two consecutive prime factor is 6 I hope you understood now Uh, seventh question we will see in the next period. Thank you.